I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the consideration of S. Res. 212 submitted earlier today. The clerk will report. Senate Resolution 212, condemning the attack on Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina, and expressing encouragement and prayers for all affected by this evil assault. Is there objection to proceeding to the measure? Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the measure. Thank you, sir. I ask unanimous consent the resolution be agreed to, the preamble be agreed to, the motion to reconsider be laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. I stand before you today, before the nation, not as a senator, not as an elected official, but as a humble South Carolinian. The past week has been one of terrible tragedy and amazing unity. Last Wednesday night, we experienced an unimaginable tragedy. Nine men and women, nine mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, lost forever. The hateful and racist actions of one deranged man have changed nine families forever. It has changed South Carolina forever, Charleston forever. But what we saw from the nine families at last Friday's bond hearing was simple. It was powerful and absolutely the best of who we are as Americans. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I was back in the cloakroom and I had the opportunity to talk to one of the victim's son, Daniel Simmons, Jr. And I was talking to him back there and I said, is there anything you want me to share when I go to, on the floor of the Senate? He said, please share that God cares for his people. God still lives. I was amazed. And then he said with great enthusiasm and energy, a sense of excitement, uh, that this evil attack would lead to reconciliation, restoration, and unity in our nation. Those were powerful words. It is with great sadness and amazing hope that our future as a nation has been changed. It has been changed because one person decided to murder nine. It has been changed because the response of those nine families has been so courageous, so inspiring. And if you would permit me, I will read the names of those nine individuals. We honor the Reverend Sharonda Coleman Singleton, a beloved teacher, coach at Goose Creek High School. Her son Chris has shown us all what an amazing mother she was through her his strength over the past six days. We honor Cynthia Hurd, whose love for education has been shared for over 31 years as a librarian in the public library system. We honor Susie Jackson, who at 87 years young, still offered her beautiful voice to the choir and had recently returned from visiting her family in Ohio. We honor Ethel Lee Lance, who served her church with pride, whose daughter calls her the strong woman who just tried to keep her family together. We honor DePayne Middleton Doctor, who dedicated her life to serving the poor and helping her students as an enrollment and counselor. 
at Southern Wesleyan University. We honor my good friend, Reverend Clemente Pinckney, an amazing man of faith, a great dad, and a wonderful father. We honor Tawanza Sanders, beloved son of Tyrone and Felicia, whose warmth and a heartfelt spirit has kept us moving. We honor the Reverend Daniel Simmons Sr., whose granddaughter said my granddaddy was an amazing, amazing man. It seemed like every time he spoke, it was pure wisdom. And we honor Pastor Myra Thompson, who served the Lord with grace and dignity. She loved her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren. If you would just pause for nine seconds, a second for each one, I would appreciate it. Thank you. In closing, I want to thank all my colleagues in the Senate and in the House for their kind words over the past week and for the prayers that continue to come into our city from across the nation. We are Charleston, we are South Carolina, and we are absolutely united. And we are committed to replacing hate with love, pain with kindness, and ill will and hostility with goodwill and comfort. I yield to Senator Graham. Thank you. And I